Good afternoon. It's Monday, March 20th, 2017. For all Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Levin. Cloudy today with a high near 43 and an overnight low around 34. Tuesday will be partly sunny with a high near 44. What's in the news? Thousands turned out in Buffalo to watch the 77th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday, making it one of the longest running in the country, and dare we say the best. All West New York News was on scene snapping a whole bunch of photos, so if you happen to miss it, you can still enjoy it. Go to allwestnewyorknews.com and click the Photos link in the top menu bar, or see them on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash allwny. With this year's tax day just a month away, Attorney General Eric Schneiderman provided taxpayers with a variety of tips to help them avoid fraudulent tax schemes. The tips are pretty basic, like if you owe money, you will receive a legitimate notice in writing that identifies the agency and the reason you owe money to. Do not give out personal information, including your social security number, bank account information, or other payment information to telephone callers. And legitimate government agencies will never insist that consumers pay a debt via a prepaid credit card. The government cannot spend Amazon gift cards. But since people fall for these scams all the time, we've included the full list at allwestnewyorknews.com. From our friends at Amherst Times, the 154-unit student housing is moving forward according to the Amherst Planning Board. This four-story residential building that the developer Core Spaces would construct on three parcels, totally 5.4 acres on North Forest and Bryant Woods South, would be roughly one mile south of the UB South campus. Police news. A 33-year-old Fillmore man was charged Sunday with aggravated driving while intoxicated following a single vehicle crash on State Route 19A in Hume. According to New York State Police, troopers responded to the report of a car that crashed into a ditch and found Jonathan S. Buckley, who they determined to be intoxicated. He was charged and taken to the Fillmore Troopers Barracks, where he was found to have a 0.22% blood alcohol content. New York State Police charged a 68-year-old man with driving while intoxicated on Sunday following a near collision on East Greenwood Street in Andover. State Police say troopers responded to a traffic complaint of one car almost head-on hitting another car. The vehicle and operator were located at a nearby residence where the driver, Robert Bishop, was being interviewed. Troopers determined him to be intoxicated. He was charged with DWI and taken to the Amity Troopers Barracks where he was found to have a 0.17% blood alcohol content. Sports. The Buffalo Sabres are back in action tonight, taking on the Detroit Red Wings in Detroit at 7.30 p.m. The Sabres are currently nine points out of a playoff spot with 10 games remaining. Speaking of the Sabres, a former All West New York Radio contributor who hosted a weekly Sabres-related show in 2007 is returning to All West New York Radio today. Corey McKnight will branch out from just the Sabres to discuss whatever's on his mind in a segment called Corey Comments On. The bit will air on All West New York Radio each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday following the 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. newscasts and will be offered as a podcast as well. McKnight will also occasionally pen a column for All West New York News and Radio. Speaking of columns, Greg Burt's weekly column, Heard in Western New York, says that the All West New York Radio 11th anniversary party this Sunday in Stamps is the top pick of the week. I swear we didn't pay him to do that. But wait, he has nine other shows you'll want to check out. See the full list at allwestnewyorkradio.com. Okay, for All West New York News and All West New York Radio, I'm Scott Leffler. Hey, don't miss my weekly show, Here's the Thing, tonight at 8 p.m. And if you don't happen to listen, have a great day.